Hi, I'm Scott Knowlton. I'm the co-chair for the marketing work group at PCI SIG. I currently work at Synopsys, and I'm here today to talk to you about low power options in PCI Express. PCI SIG has looked at the requirements for low power for certain aspects of the market, and so as part of what's going on in the protocol working groups over the last few years, and for the specification, is to find ways to add uh, functionality of the spec to reduce the overall power consumption in certain areas of uh, operation in order to accommodate uh, things like mobile devices and, and laptops, cell phones, tablets, that kind of thing. L1 substates go back actually to um, way back to when PCI was the protocol of which PCI Express is, you know, evolved from there. And back in the PCI days, there were certain protocol states where basically there was on, and then there was some other stuff that was, wasn't defined real well, but in, in the old days, people just turned things off to save power. As, you know, industry progresses and products progress, we get to where, and obviously PCI turns into PCI Express, we get into where we have new applications, like I said, cell phones, laptops, uh, and that kind of thing, where now you have you need more granularity between always on and always off. So you have everywhere from L0, uh, which is on and standard operation, then you have L0S, L1, L2, and L3, which is, and L3 is off. And so what we've done in the protocol is, and some of the intermediate states, we've defined what you can turn off at various times. But what we found was that obviously going all the way off for a cell phone, nobody wants to wait for a long time for it to power up. Uh, from L3 because it takes a long time because you've turned off everything. So uh, the PLLs and other aspects of the, of the electrical portion of the interface on the Phi side have to get powered up. And it just takes too long when, when somebody wants to get on their phone and tweet uh, right away. Uh, and so the, the intermediate steps were defined, but what we found was even with the L0S, the L1 and L2, even though we had some definitions there, uh, what we found was that the trade-offs between kind of all the way off and bringing all the PLLs up and everything um, to always on, obviously, uh, and, and the granularity that we defined with L1, L2, uh, were still not enough. And so uh, what PCI SIG did with all its members is we found what we call L1 substates. So it's um, taking the L1 state and adding a clock ref um, signal input to be able to use that as the command to turn things on and off. So now what happens is we've defined the granularity even further such that you can turn off like the PLLs and uh, other aspects in, in, in the L1 substate. So there's L1.1 and L1.2, and depending on which one you, you use, you're making a trade-off between how long it takes to come out of the state versus um, how deep the power state is. As I um, mentioned earlier, you know, in the old days, it was kind of like you're either on or you're off, and, and we needed uh, with uh, the evolution of the market into more battery powered devices for you know these thin laptops or cell phones, tablets, and, and other aspects or other products that are out there. Um, you know, especially, you know, we're really focused on L1 substates, really on battery powered devices and be able to shut down things, but then try to be able to bring them on quickly and power them up and, and get back to transmitting data. You can go to uh, PCISIG.com um, to you can download the specification or there's other reference material there from prior uh, PCI DevCons where we've had people do presentations and stuff on the uh, on L1 substates.